My name's Alan Hart and today we're working in Seacroft in Leeds. We've come to do a power flush on a heating system. So we're just going to have a walk around now. We're going to have a look at the pipe work and look at the system. Uh, we're going to um, use our thermal imaging camera just to see how bad the radiators are. And then we're going to establish what we're going to do with this install. Right, so we've come out to do a power flush today. And we're just going to trace all the pipes. You see there we're getting about 32, 33 degrees. You can see the pipe working well there. So we trace some pipes, you can see them just sunk it well. So we're in lounge here now. We'll go to this other one that's in lounge. So we've got about 29 on them. Not working very well. It's all off eight mil, um, so they don't work very well at all. Let's see there. I'll just go and have a look at boiler. So boiler's in kitchen. Kitchen radiator. You can see there that's thirteen degrees and that one. We'll just go upstairs. I'd love a coffee please, two sugars. Thank you very much. Bedroom radiator. About 42 degrees. It's really struggling, this system. It's all piped off eight mil, and then it's been extended and people's put bits of 15 in. But the heart of the system is eight mil. So it goes to an 8mm manifold somewhere. So we've got a spoiler there. Radiator. So we've got a pipe work here. So how this pipe works, it comes down in 8mm and then somebody's teed into 8mm and then they put this radiator and this radiator off it. So it doesn't work very well. It's never going to work very well, no matter what we do. But we're just going to try as best to flush it the best we can. And then same with this one here. So this big radiator here, it connects onto 15 mil, but then it goes into the wall. And in the wall, it's in eight mil. So again, it's never going to work brilliant. And then again with this one, it's 15 mil and it goes eight mil in the wall. So again, that's never going to work brilliant either. So we'll just have a look up here now. And if we have a look at some of the pipe work up here, it's not, it's not great. So again, this runs off 8mm. Cylinder. And if we have a look in here, how it's piped. So this connects out of the floor there on 8mm. And then it's been extended around here in 15 mil all the way around around there into this radiator so again we're always going to struggle to get that to work very well and this one again it's an 8 mil out of floor and it goes to 15 and then this one here Again, it's on 8 mil. Say this. Um, <laughs> so, 8 mil comes out of the floor there. 8 mil. 
and it extend and then it's extended onto 15 mil. And then that 15 mil goes round there to that radiator. <coughs> Somebody's put isolation valves on there. So we've actually abandoned this power flush. Uh, the pipe work is all small 8 mil pipe and it's been badly connected onto and the, the pipe work just needs updating really. So the, the actual radiators themselves are all fine, there's no sludge in them, the water is clear. So we're not going to charge customer for a power flush what they didn't need. So what we've done, we've advised the customer to have the system repiped and, and that's it for today, we're going to leave them to it. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.